Okay, Scott, got a hold of some really fresh bacon. Just cut off the pig. Did the buckboard bacon cure on it. Some brown sugar and sea salt. Been in that for five days. Now we're fixing to put it on the old smoke vault. Got it smoked up. We're going to turn it down to about 250 and put it on there for two hours. See what old fashioned bacon looks like. Check with it in a little bit. Okay, Scott, last time we saw this buckboard bacon, it was coming out of the Camp Chef smoke vault. I took my work sharp sharpener, sharpened up this knife. This has been in the freezer. If you're going to slice the bacon yourself and you want to cut it as thin as you can, it's easier if you're doing that when it's frozen because when it ain't frozen, it ain't that easy to cut. Now something else that you can do with it is just cut you a thick slice like that and then dice it up. You can do a lot of stuff with it after it's diced up. You can just fry it like that and put it in with the eggs or whatever. But we've got a few other things that we're going to show you a little bit later on. And I think you'll be interested. Scott, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Now this skillet used to be a bucket of rust. You use C-Dub's inspiration to revive it. There's our buckboard bacon. That one's a little thicker sliced. You always want to get that pan hot before you start putting this stuff in there. Go ahead and cook that, and then we'll do these little bits. Alright, you can see it's all fried out good now. My daughter likes hers a little crispy. So, we went ahead and cooked this a little extra for her. These other ones are for me. Gotta take care of the film crew. Now we're going to add this diced in there. In case you're not that great with a knife, you can dice that up, you fry that, and it's just like having cut up bacon whenever you do your, your eggs. And something else too, this grease that's coming off of here, that was just brown sugar and sea salt on that pork belly. And after it got smoked in that pecan wood, which you ain't gonna be able to go to the store and find pecan wood smoked bacon. It's always apple or maple something or another or whatever. Well, if you like those flavors, and nothing that says you can't go and put it in there whenever you're doing your brine, just squirt a little maple syrup in there if you like maple bacon. But anyway, this is a pecan because we're in Texas. Next batch will probably be mesquite. But save that oil or this grease that comes off of here because there's all kind of stuff you can do with that. You can cook some shrimp in it. You can cook all kinds of stuff in it. Do it for your eggs. Flavor it up with the eggs without having to add anything. And these can cook it really quick because that fire is hot. Well, Scott, this is my contribution to homemade bacon. Go ahead and make you some. Whenever you fry out these little bits too, if you were having a party, you put a toothpick in each of them, and that way you don't have to give them a whole slice. Alright, that's all I gotta say about that. We'll see y'all next week.